Okay, I have something interesting here tonight. Um, the Easy Grader Long Ranger. This is, uh, I guess you can call it a slide roll, I'll explain why. Um, some people would call this a uh, special purpose slide roll. It's not quite a slide chart. The regular Easy Grader is like a slide chart. Um, I don't have one here to kind of show you the difference, but this uh, circular Long Ranger Easy Grader, I think, uh, could really be considered a special purpose slide roll. Um, let me let me explain by showing you an example. Uh, let's say I have a test. Um, I am a teacher, and uh, it has 35 questions, and I have three students. Uh, first student's got three wrong, second has five wrong, uh, third has got 11 wrong, and I want to compute their their grade on the test as a percentage. Uh, the way I'd probably do this on the, the regular slide roll um, is well, I'd have to compute uh, how many they got correct. So here I, I have 32 correct out of 35. Here I have 30 correct out of 35. Here I have only 24 correct out of 35. And I would just convert all those to a percentage. I'd probably round the student's grade up uh, to the nearest percent. Uh, the, there's a nice way you could do this on the slide roll if you're grading a lot of tests. Uh, so what I've done here is I've set the 35 on the C scale over the uh, 1 on the D scale. Now anything I find on the C scale, um, that's like saying 35 is 100%. Uh, anything, any other grade I can find on the C scale in terms of the numerator here, and then I'll read the um, grade as a percent on the D scale. Uh, so 32 here, here's the 3. Uh, 32 is there, and you can see on the D scale it looks like it's between 91 and 92, so I'll round that student's grade up to 92%. Uh, for the student with 5 wrong, for the student with 5 wrong, I need to find the 30 on the C scale. Uh, his grade looks to be uh, between 85 and 86, so he'll get an 86. And let's say the last student got 24 out of 35 correct, so I'll find the 24. There's 20, 1, 2, 3, 4 on the C scale. And grade uh, 65, 6, um, 68. It'll round up to 69, but uh, okay. Not a good grade. So. Uh, that's how I do it on a normal slide roll. Uh, folded scales could help because then you can have everything on scale. Um, I assume most of my viewers are familiar with slide rolls, but the magic here is that C and D are logarithmic scales. Um, so everywhere you read, you read the same uh, same fraction. So 35 over 100 is the same as 30. Uh, let's say 2 over whatever number here. Uh, so sometimes these are called proportional scales, uh, or this is a proportional ruler, logarithmic ruler. Okay, most of my uh, viewers are familiar with the slide rolls. Now, the Easy Grader is kind of a special purpose slide roll. It's made out of cardboard. Um, my, this particular Easy Grader that I have, um, the printing is a little bit off, so it gives answers that are a little bit wrong. Uh, so, nice concept, bad execution, I guess, on the Easy Grader. Uh, I first found out about the Easy Grader uh, through a friend of my wife, who um, is a high school teacher, and she found this in the teacher's lounge and uh, thought, oh, maybe that's actually a slide roll. <laughs> so, um, it is a slide roll. Let's see why. So, I would say um, a slide roll needs two logarithmic scales. And the easy grader has two logarithmic scales, one here, uh, going around the outside, one, two, three, four, it goes up to 200. Uh, the other logarithmic scale is identical, but in reverse, and it's underneath, uh, see there, it's this scale. Uh, to show you that they're actually the same scale, let's look here at the 200, 200, 180 down there. That is identical to this here, except reversed and offset a little bit. So. This scale here is repeated on the inside, but in reverse, and a little bit offset. Okay, to prove that those are really logarithmic scales, uh, let me do a multiplication. Uh, so here, 
this is like if you had a slide rule and you're using, uh, let's say, D and CI, uh, because the one scale is reversed. Uh, so here, let's multiply 4 times 3. So here's the 4 on this scale. So what I'm going to do um, is put my pencil there where that 4 is, because uh, it's not set up for general purpose calculation. Okay, now I'm going to align the 3. And if I do that, uh, where the 1 is should be 4 times 3. There's the 1, there's 12, 4 times 3. Uh, so you can make your easy grader multiply uh, using this technique if you like. Um, now, unlike a regular circular slide rule, the logarithm that they've used has a different base than base 10. Um, so it, the logarithmic spiral you get does not connect to itself on the end, and um, you don't get a lot of the nice properties that a regular slide rule has. Um, but, um, since it has the two logarithmic scales, you can uh, move them with respect to each other. Let's call it a slide rule. Uh, the outer scale um, is not logarithmic. It adjusts the final calculation to compute the grade um, because really the logarithmic calculation would compute, let's say, the total percent you should be taking off of the test. We'll see why in a second. And then uh, that needs to be converted to the grade so that, that this external spiral here is not quite logarithmic but is based on the inner logarithmic scale. Um, Okay, let's see how it works uh, for this test. It has 35 questions, uh, so here I need to select that under this arrow for total number of problems. So I set that to 35. Uh, then the idea is I leave, I leave this alone and I grade everybody's test by figuring how many they had wrong. Oh, three questions wrong. Let's find that here between 91 and 92. Round up to 92. Okay, um, five wrong. Five wrong. Okay, pretty close to 86. 11 wrong, uh, there's 11, uh, rounds up slightly to 69 there. Do you see how it works? Um, you can do any number of problems um, up to 200, I think. Yeah, that scale maxes out at 200 there. Um, and you can get any number wrong. Um, so, this is the Long Ranger Easy Grader Special Purpose Slide Rule, still available. Um, my, just as a warning, my mine is a little bit off. Let me show you that. So let's say you have 20 questions. So number of problems, 20. Uh, let's make it 50. Okay, so each, each problem should get me two points off, right? So, okay, two problems wrong is four points off. That should be 96. See how that doesn't quite line up? Uh, then you see this four, that should be eight points off. See how that 92, that's even farther off. Uh, let's come here to 20. Uh, which would be 40 points off, so I should get a 60. See how far off that is? Um, this is some kind of manufacturing defect, so um, easy grader, nice in principle, but maybe their uh, manufacturing uh, tolerances are a little bit lax. Um, hope you enjoyed this video.